Here we have a prerequisite topic, solving a proportion of the form x plus a over b equal to c over d. So same technique as solving any equation, um, you find a common denominator. So if I multiply those two together, I can use, I believe it's 72 or 96, sorry. Or you can find the lowest common denominator by listing the multiples of 12 and then finding the first one that uh, 8 will go into, and it's actually 48. So whether you use a common denominator or the lowest common denominator, the problem will still play out exactly the same. Okay, so um, as long as my denominators are just numbers, I have the choice on whether to use a common denominator or the lowest common denominator. When we start to get variables in the denominator, you're always going to have to go with the lowest common denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lowest common denominator in this case. And so here I get 8 into 48, which is 6, 12 into 48, which is 4. So what I'm left with is 6 times 5, which is 30, but I'm left with 4 times this entire numerator which means I actually have to distribute that four since it's one term times two terms. So I end up with four V plus eight. And then I can minus eight on both sides, giving me 22 equal to four V and then divide by four on both sides. And if I type 22 over four in my calculator, it reduces down to 11 halves. This problem did not ask me to provide a decimal, so just give them the fraction version of the answer.